All right, time for another math easy. So we're going to discuss well uh, the basic FOIL method. You probably have seen this before in uh, elementary school or high school, or whatnot. And uh, well, I'm going to go through it because not a lot of people have, and basically show a little a simple proof for it, and also a, an alternative method that you could easily uh, f use the FOIL method easily for complex, uh, yeah, for complex equations or whatnot. So for example, let's say this the, the FOIL method is basically if you have a function line like this one here x plus 3 times x plus 5 so if you're used to this what you would do is you would multiply this the first one by uh, the, both of these ones here so you'd multiply both and then you would add them to the 3 multiplied by both of these so this would equal 2 x squared plus 5 x plus 3 x plus 15 these are the, the 3x and the 15 are from, from this second multiplications. And then you simplify this x squared plus 8x plus 15. So you have this one here. And uh, just a side note, factoring is the reverse of this one. So if you were to go backwards from here to this brackets uh, like that, that's, this is called factoring. Yeah, and that is a reverse uh, foiling here. So now uh, the proof of this one, uh, it's, it's quite simple. Let's just say we're given this more general... Uh, kind of factoring method here, a plus b times c plus d in this case here. Okay, so now the proof of it, well, we'll just pretend uh, this is an area kind of multiplication here. So let's just say, we'll, we'll call this length here a, this is b here, and then let's say c is something like this, this distance here is c, and yeah, those that's b and a, and then this one we'll call this last one d here. So now the area in, in this one here, this is the area is just equal to, well, a plus b times c plus d, or basically this equation here. So now, if you were to just draw a line through wherever the section ends, so we'll get, get a line here, and now we know that the equation, oh yeah, the area of a rectangle here, this is just b, c, and then this one here as well, this one is, uh, this, this is a c as well, it's the same size, this is going to be a, c, and as you can see, the proof is quite simple. We're going to get uh, multiplying by every single term here. So this is going to be D. This is A. So this is going to be A, D. And then similarly here, we're going to get this one. We'll put a B here. So this is D, B, or B, D. And now, yeah, so then the area is a summation of all of these ones. So it's just going to be A, C, plus B, C, plus A, D, plus D, or B or B, D, or it doesn't matter which way you put it. Yeah, so you, we have this uh, this equation here, and this is actually foiling. Because if you were to multiply, well, this by this, and then plus this plus uh, these two here, just use the FOIL method, we're going to get AC plus AD plus BC plus BD. And uh, every single term is multiplied, it's the exact same as this one here. So the, yeah, this is the proof of it. It's quite simple, and then but now I'll show you uh, actually from this proof. I uh, there's actually an, a really quick method that you could use to solve uh, for the FOIL method, and it's using this kind of like table format. And this looks just like the proof for this one. So you just have uh, just put an X here. This would be a multiplying kind of table here. We could just do this. So you would just put whatever your terms are. So this is A and this is B here. And we just put C and D, and we just multiply on on this, and we're just going to add them up. So this is going to be A C, A D, and this is B C, and this is B D, and then add them all up is the area. So then, or the uh, the answer to A plus B, C plus D, and this just equals to A C plus B C plus A, D, plus B, D. So, yeah, so you could do this exact same kind of looks like the proof. Of it. But now let's say you have a more complex uh, equation and you want to basically foil it out. Okay, so now we have a pretty complex equation here. This one, AX squared plus BX plus C and all this stuff here. And uh, you could foil it out, but that's uh, it's a bit uh, hard and, like, it's, it's, it's hard to visualize it. But now let's just write it down like this little uh, easy table proofs here. So we just, we just put an X here. Okay, so we just put in whatever our terms are. In this case, it's going to be AX squared plus BX plus C. It doesn't matter which side you put which. Just put the thing down here, and then just put this here. And then we're going to get DX cubed, EX squared, FX, and G. 
And now we could easily expand this out, just multiply this by this. This is going to be ADX5. This is going to be AEX4, AFX3, AGX squared. Keep going here. Yes, and if you keep doing for all of them, I just skip those. Uh, then this one's going to be CEX squared, CFX, and then CG. And now you just add up the ones that are have the, the like X's in this case here. So and, and you can see they're all diagonals here. So you just add up the diagonals. Every diagonal is the same because remember it's decreasing the powers here. So you're going to have a diagonal here. And these ones add up and these add up. So as you can see, this is just going to be ADX5 plus, this is going to be a, AE plus BDX4, and then plus AF plus BE plus CDX3. So you're just adding up the diagonals, and then plus AGX, I mean uh, plus BF. I mean, yeah, plus BF plus BC times X squared, and then plus BG plus CFX, and then plus CG. So yeah, this is our uh, foiling. We just foil this all out, and this is pretty easy to do. It's uh, tedious, but it's still pretty easy and easy to memorize. You just put them on the top and bottom, and then you just multiply it out. Okay, now let's do one more example to illustrate if you had, let's say, three things kind of multiplied by each other. If you had something like A plus X times B plus X, and then plus C plus X in this case. Here what you could do is basically just do FOIL method for this one here and then FOIL method for whatever this is times by this one here. So we just look at this one here, this is gonna be well if you multiply this by that and stuff, you're, you're gonna get A, A times B plus A times X plus B times X plus X squared and then you multiply by this whole thing here, C plus X in this case. And if I just add up these like terms here, we're going to get A plus B here. Now we could just do that method we have above here, like this one, because it's uh, much quicker than... And you could actually just multiply by each each one inside, or you could just use that method I showed. And so if we just put it in something like this, A, B, and then this is going to be A plus B. Uh, and this is, yeah, X here. We should put the exact same thing as we did above here, and then we just multiply this out. It's going to be A, B, C, A, B, X. And this one, the C's can go inside, so we'll just go with... AC plus BC times X, and then this X is going to multiply it in the outer one, A plus B X squared, and this is going to be CX squared, and this one right here, this is going to be an X cubed here. And then you just add all these up, and you're going to get, this is going to be A, B, C, all the like ones, remember it's always going to be a diagonal, it's always going to be a diagonal here, so you just add these up again. So we're going to get this ABC plus AB plus AC plus BC times X. And then plus these two add up. So A plus B plus C, X squared, and plus X cubed. So yeah, this is a really quick and easy method to basically foil it out and that's uh, yeah, it's, I just learned that actually just now this method here well hopefully you'll learn remember you can download these notes and yeah if you haven't uh, basically learned more about foil method you probably used it from elementary and high school but uh, this it's the proof's pretty easy and this method is pretty useful to just to memorize and to foil out pretty quickly well that's all for today and uh, yeah maybe next time I'll do some factoring videos here basically just reverse foiling well that's all for today hope you learned and stay tuned for another math easy solution